guys welcome back to my channel I really hope you're doing well so today I will um, share with you my Lachon collection my you know I have a, a few handbags and a few accessories and so I've been requested to do this video by a few of my subscribers and it really took me so long to film this video but yeah you know I'm here and I really hope that you um, will like this video so let's get started I will start with my most used uh, pochette and bag. This is a cosmetic pochette by Longchamp and it's the larger size. They, I think they have a smaller one. Yes, they, they do. They do have a smaller one. Not sure if they have a bigger version as this one. But um, I have this pouch in the beige with the dark brown leather and I use this one during summer vacation I tend to bring with me this uh, pochette and just put my miscellaneous inside or use it for store, storing um, you know sunscreen and stuff and with this uh, pochette I'll have my Longchamp Le Pliage bag and this one is the bigger version I think it's the biggest size of this uh, there you go so it's also in the same beige color with a dark brown brown leather and this bag is so comfortable you know guys i i'll take this with me every summer i have this now for the past i think three years this is the third year that i have this one and i actually using during the summer so i use this bag you know with my towel and you know my my things that i need uh, to take with me on the beach and to go with this bag i just have this uh you know, pochette. And the size of this uh, Longchamp actually is the same size like the Never Fool. So let me quickly show you um, side by side. Here, as you can see, this is the Never Fool MM in Dame Azur. And then here I have the Longchamp Le Pliage Tote. And it's honestly, it's um, not fully stuffed, so it kind of looks a little bit, you know, but if I put them like this you can tell that they are almost the same size and here again side by side yeah I actually have done like three years ago I have done a comparison video between the Neverfull and Le Pliage I will put down below the link if you're interested to see you know how they look side by side and how they looked on me I'll just put the link so go ahead and check it out the price of this Longchamp Le Pliage bag are very affordable you know they are they are expensive but they are not that expensive and for 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 the quality and for what you use it you know the, I mean I think it 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 worth the money I mean um, you can use this bag as a school bag you can use it as a daily tote you know or like I do I use this particular one for vacation or slash you know beach bag my first um, Le Pliage uh, Longchamp bag that I bought myself was this one and this was a special edition special collection I'm not sure if they still have them in the store I think they always came up or you know came up with uh, new editions a new style also with the pattern and color so I'm not sure I actually have seen this one maybe this one is even in their regular you know um, collection so um, this is the smaller size they I think they even have a smaller one but um, that's a comparison to the speedy I would say and it's a hand handle bag or you know by elbow and it's in the black on black leather with the silver hardware and you know I really like this size I should use this bag much more actually I don't know why I'm not using it I, I just tend to use other bags but I really like this size and it's really really beautiful and this type of uh, material you, you can't fold this one so you have the other one that I showed before this one you can fold you know together and have it you know stored small but this one is stays like this because I liked this collection very much I went and bought the bigger um, tote and here again another Le Pliage and uh, it's the bigger one with uh, longer straps also black on black with the silver hardware and you can use this one by shoulder you know and I'll really like this bag I tend to use this one for um, you know um, work folders or whenever I travel and I'll bring this one with me 
it's really comfortable and at the same time super classy and so this one again you can't fold so you need to store it like this really really beautiful to go with both of my black bags le pliage I bought myself as well the cosmetic pochette black on black you know with silver hardware and um, it's so handy this one you know you can use it for you know store your makeup or any other things that you don't want to you know put on, uh, directly on, in your bag and so yeah I mean you can even use it for um, you know like as a pencil case or storing in your mobile phone with with keys and so on and you have quite enough space inside and I really like also that the inside is wipeable you know I store inside inside my my pochette there is just air papers to keep it in shape you know and this is how I tend to um, you know have my pochette next bag that I have is this one and this one was definitely a limited edition I really liked the print on this bag it's like um, it seems like animal print or like snake skin you know it's just it's just drop on this uh, type of material this is I think this is nylon you know the material it's nylon and this is a, a brownish uh, with a dark brown again here on the handle the leather handle or dark brown with silver hardware and you can this size is uh, the same you know it's it's a bigger size I'm not sure if it ca came in, in a bigger size but this is um, actually the biggest one and I think so. I want to say is that this bag is uh, the same size like the other two bigger Longchamp Le Pliage that I have but with the shorter you know, handle. So you can carry this one by hand or by elbow and it's, it looks really really nice um, for business. You know, you can use it as a handbag if you like to carry more things inside. And the storage inside, I mean it's I actually haven't shown you anything how it looks inside, but it's the the inside is um, how can I say it's armed, so there is nothing really inside. You just have a black or a white big hole, you know, and one petite slot here on the front, like the Speedy has. So, so the, it's not that you have tons of things or tons of pochettes. But that's okay for me, I mean, I like it anyway, and this is how it looks. Really, really beautiful, and yeah. This is um, the last piece that I want to show you, it's just this case. This is a cosmetic pochette, I've got this one, um, I think almost four or five years. And initially I used this one, uh, I bought this one, um, with the intention to use it, you know, as a cosmetic bag or even as a pencil bag but then I found the perfect uh, things you know to store inside so this is black leather and it's black with silver hardware so here on the front you just see a Longchamp imprinted in the leather and uh, it comes with this uh, zipper pull which also says Longchamp and this D-ring which um, I don't know you can use it to um, hook it on a chain so here inside I do store um, brushes actually cosmetic brushes um, travel size I would say because they are quite small and I will go through them so I'll show you what I have and also how many you know can fit inside so the inside is just like this it has a beautiful line which says says Longchamp uh, all over it there you go and it's super super um, the leather is super soft actually and these are my brushes that I take with me always when I go on vacation you know and I always, um, after I come back from vacation, I'll just, um, you know, clean them and then store them back in the case so they are ready. The case is just ready, you know. So the first brush that I want to show you is this one. And all these brushes are by Lancome. And this is a foundation brush, as you can tell here. And it's super, super handy, you know, to put on your foundation. And actually, these were my main brushes back then when I did my, when I used to do my makeup, like, you know, for the let's say I'm more into beauty and makeup for the past I don't know like four years or three years maybe three years and before these were just my main brushes and I used to have like you know just these five or six <clears throat> and now I replace these brushes with some of my MAC brushes or Sigma so however so this is the foundation brush and then I have a powder sla slash um, blush brush but this is more a blush brush obviously but what I do is I use this one also to 
you know, fix uh, just to fix my um, concealer, and then afterwards I use it to, uh, you know, for the blush. And this is really, really that the hair are really super soft. And then next one is a blending brush here, Balancom as well. And here there is an ankle brush. You know, I use this one to put um, darker eyeshadows, you know, on my lid. And then here there is another one. I use this one more with uh, wet shadows. And then this one more for, you know, doing like liners or here underneath, you know, I can put eyeshadow. And then I have this one for my brows, you know, to comb them. And then I just added this one. This is by MAC, um, like, you know, like a, for the eyebrows. I just added this one. And I just want to show you, you know, how tall the MAC brushes are. And some of them are even taller. And you see that the Lancome brush, the older version, because obviously they um, kind of renewed their models. So this one is um, smaller. So it's... Perfect. It's a perfect size uh, to bring them um, during vacation. So I just put them back. There you go. And here the last Mac brush. And it fits perfectly. And so my, you know, brush case is ready. So there you go, guys. This was my Lancome collection video. I really uh, thank you for the request. For those of you that requested this video, I hope you liked it. If you want, to, if you want to see um, a particular, you know, bag in a review video, just let me know. And yeah, there you go. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and see you soon on my next video. Bye.